Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play with Nev Crazy. I am Nev Crazy and this is Sam and Max Save the World, or it will be Sam and Max and Nev Crazy Save the World, so I'm going to be helping them. So this is a game that's quite old now, but it's part of the 14-day uh, free trial that I'm doing for the Xbox Game um, Game Pass thing. I've never played a Salmon Max game before. I know that many years ago it used to be a point-and-click adventure. I'm assuming that this is going to be slightly different to that because opening it up, it was a Telltale game, which I didn't even know about. So, um, yes, let's begin it off with I've unlocked the game picture. Cool. So I would assume it would make sense to start off with the first episode and work our way through. Which I've noticed most Telltale games they tend to have five episodes. This has apparently six. But anyway, let's begin with Culture Shock. Drop heavy objects onto the heads of your rivals. Take down a dysfunctional crew of washed up child stars. Embark on a disturbing Freudian journey inside Sam's mind. Okay then. Which one's Sam? Is Sam the rabbit or the dog? I think Sam might be the rabbit. Not a saxophone. So yeah, from what I understand of it, they're like detectives, but it's like old style detectives. And it quite like the sound of the fit, to be honest. I'm surprised I've never played it before, but then again I've never really had much chance to. I like this kind of part of the thing, this style. Like noir. It's not normal noir. Normal, it's like black and white. There is a name for this kind of film. I've got noise. Used it a lot in Game Wet as well. When you went into like your rage mode. Culture shock. Quit moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local Sam's lawbreakers must miss our yep. esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Is it? Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> I got it! I got it! Hello? Ah, <laughs> uh, you missed. Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious Wait, phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. Where's Some misguidedly phone? ballsy felons napped our phone. Really? I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? <laughs> be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Okay. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little burp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. <laughs> Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Oh, of course it is. All right, sorry that there was no subtitles. I'm actually going to put them on now. So bear with me. Uh, options. on. on. Warp drive. Okay, no idea what that's about, but whatever. As it is, it's still going to be a point and click. So the cheese has to be in here somewhere. Is it? Um. Hmm. It's not going to be over here. I'm sure there will be um, references here, but. Let's try Max's desk. It's the most logical place to look. No comment. Um, file cabinet. Maybe? 20 years worth of electric belts take up a surprising amount of space. Do they? Okay, let's try the closet door. Aha. There we go. Oh, there it is. That's a lot of cheese. So, take the cheese? Yep. Yeah. Pile of cheese. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. Ooh. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss yeah, cheese in particular. How do we make it Swiss cheese? We need something to make it Swiss cheese. So how do we make Swiss cheese? Um... Oh, 
how do we make it? What the hell did I just? Okay. So to make it Swiss cheese, we're gonna have to cut it somehow. So what could we cut it with? Dart. Something. Use the dart. One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Okay. Um. Good idea. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. Right. You bet, little buddy. So, Sam is the sort of sensible. No dice. Can we go? We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss, Swiss cheese. cheese How do we make Swiss cheese? Uh. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Right. Um. So how do we make Swiss cheese? Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Okay. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? A bowling ball, of course. Of course. What's this? I have a big gun. I can use the gun to shoot the cheese to make. This is the only thing that makes any sort of sense to me. So, shoot the pile of cheese. Take that, you law breaking dairy product. Mwah -ha. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Of course it was. Innocent? I think not. There we go. Now we have Swiss cheese. Voila! Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Why not? Right, so now I need to give the cheese to the rat in the rat hole. There we go. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offer. Cool. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. <laughs> if you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed. And I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional Why? demands for the return of the phone. We got you your Swiss cheese. Button. Now, let's discuss this company. <laughs> let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. <laughs> I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Tootie ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. <laughs> uh, hmm. But, oh, I can change between the two. So he can say, I'll tell you apart, I'll feed you broken mass, I'll bring you a little next, so I'll tell you apart. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon of here. You are. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. He is. Hmm. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you <laughs> thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so hot. I got me a thing about <laughs> heights. They make me nervous, you know? Do they? Oh, really? Hmm. There we don't go. like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Man. Hey, you wouldn't. He would. <laughs> I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. Yes, he is. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right. Ascot. Have mercy. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like well, like things that have fallen on the pavement from a great height. <laughs> I give up. Take your phone and let me go. <laughs> it was inside oh, a lava. I wish I could unsee that. Cool. Hello. Yes. Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline to the <laughs> edge. What the fuck? Our way. Yeah. What kind of line is that? Did you drop him? Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was the commissioner, Max. Not the commissioner. Reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh joy! That's my second favorite feasance. What's your first? Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Ah, <gasps> not the corner store. What's going on at the corner store? Are there too many conveniences? Are there not enough conveniences? <gasps> that would be so much worse. It's Bob Ross. What's it say? 
They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. So they say. Just what we need. More lame poetry. <laughs> okay, so what, it's one way. So I wonder which way I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Specs. Uh, Bosco's Inconvenience. Oh uh, dear. Guns, beer, meat, Whee! candy. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of weird that I can just see him. Is this the store it was on the map? Bad news, worse news. <laughs> Have no fear, simple citizens. The, the freelance police are here freelance to keep the peace. Police, are we? Violently, if possible. <laughs> it's just you two. Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? Uh, NASA's NASA. got nothing Hold to do with on, it. Hold on, Bosco. And What's the problem? What's, What's the problem? Issue? It's a terrorist. a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Munchkin terrorist. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there. Yeah, sir. That is wow. one ugly Hey, I know Dude. him. Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. No. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, wizard! He's a former tile star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jet. <laughs> What's he doing? Exactly what is the nature of wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's eyeball, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. That's what he's that doing display. wrong. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. Bob Ross. I hear that. Um. Hmm. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Yeah. Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It makes no sense. I smell... A conspiracy! <gasps> no, no, a conspiracy! I think he's just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. Oh, right. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. Of course it is. Hmm, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Um. Uh, see ya. We'll chat more later, Bosco. Yeah, well, we'll. Right now it's time to get up close and personal with that high sized stuff. evil doer. Stop that crazy man before he kills we'll us! We'll talk to him at the very least. Uh, did he just leave? Yes, he was quick. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. Okay. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never <laughs> met. Everyone calls me Wizard. I suppose. Okay, so what, what are you exactly doing? are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. Yeah. All these videos. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's eyeball is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Is it? Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Yeah, but you eyeball can't just the deliver them to into a shop. And ocular fitness. Hmm. So what can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. Oh, of course. Wear clothing. You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Did it? So are you actually looking at us naked then at the moment? Although, obviously, uh, Max is already technically naked, so, uh, yeah. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow yeah, supposed is. to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? <laughs> Brady Culture is a genius, and his eyeball program is a boon to all mankind. Well, you would say that, you're Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's know. Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Oh, no. Uh, well, that's nice. Well, that's nice. What is? Uh, you're breaking the law. Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal Private Public Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. 
true, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. We should. I have to deliver these videos. Why? Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Um. Uh, yeah, Put question. your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? <laughs> this guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out well, of it. Well, we're going to. No, we don't have to. We want to. I, I like Max a lot. And I just... Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a Is federal case out of it. just going to keep going round and round? No, we don't have to. We want to. Why can't I... Why can't I stop it? What's... I want to ask you again about these videos. Okay. Brady Culture's eyeball. I think it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Any celebrity? Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I? Chopped liver? Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Who exactly yeah. is this? And what kind of steroid? Yeah. Brady. Heard that. Heard Ooh, that. Oh. And did Heard you? That. Fascinating. That. That's nice. Well, that. What is. Um. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda <laughs> poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Sounds about right. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. <laughs> mm. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. <laughs> a very, very bad superpower, though. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? He's a huge fan. You could write, to Max. Thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. <laughs> Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. You know. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. What kind of incident? Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Oh, huh. yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! <laughs> <laughs> Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Oh, of course. Okay. Well, that's nice. What is? Um... I don't know what to do. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the eyeball video. So three videos. Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's eyeball for so ocular you fitness. Have to take this. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What? What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. Lose five pounds of eyeball fat. <laughs> Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start off as movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Ooh, sounds nice. Wait. So can I. Empty stuff. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. Yes, they are. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Cool. Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. <laughs> Let's have a look inside the crate. Whee! Let's have a look inside the crate. The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. The crate that delivers. Yeah, can I pick it up? The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. Uh... Hey. That's my box! So it is. Oh, my mistake. I often mistake other people's video boxes for my shopping cart. He does. It really does happen a lot. It's a major issue. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm assuming... Um... What's this guy saying then? Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? Um... Yeah, about him. About the Munchkin terrorism. What about... Man, calm... Uh, machine. Have you actually witnessed this eyeball video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. 
Hmm, something tells me. What sort of malevolent forces have conspired things. to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, <laughs> headlights, <laughs> Lynn Pastrami, hairspray, tails. Stop right there! Tell tell. Hairspray got no part in this. <laughs> oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. <laughs> Remain calm. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. <laughs> How can I be calm with the Munchkin terrorist in my store? What am I supposed to do about it? Any other, Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I so think I know. To do with the so we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <gasps> Not dead. even the National Guard can help us now. Ooh. I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay. Anything? Uh, wait, we'd like to patronize your fine establishment, yes, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. <laughs> I know what he meant. Don't patronize <laughs> me. So what do you want to buy? Uh, I do like this game. What you got? What have you got? Well, I still got... Oh, yeah, cheese! I want that. And I might have a... Okay, what's behind the counter? I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Ooh. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It? It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. True. I feel really close to you right now. Um, uh, give it tear gas. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. Whoa. 10000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. <laughs> you mean... White collar crime drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. <laughs> that's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. So, oh. the cheese, please. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You gotta bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Apparently. Never mind. Nothing for us right now. Okay. And see ya. See you later. Remember. What? The conversation we... No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Exactly. Oh, brother. Um, right. Ooh, this is... Then it measures your height. Can I go further? No? Landmines. Hmm. Um. What to do? What to do? Can I do anything else? That does that. I know. I'm gonna put the bowling ball in this pipe. Yes, 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 do that. Do the thing. Yes, uh -oh. great. Then he goes back in. Time out for number one! Yes, 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 do that. And now... Eh, bowling ball. Eh. Maybe that's one. But wizard would take it. And then where would I be? Oh, uh, piss Mike. off. Oh, sorry. What am I supposed to do? Unless I just go back and watch the tape. Eh, let's try that. I'm assuming that's kind of where it's leading to anyway, so... So... No, not that thing. Let's go. Right. Hang on, let's talk to space. Look, Sam! It's another one of the soda it poppers! Is. Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Hmm. Oh, you made me mess up. I only have to start all over. Yes, you do. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing <laughs> our neighborhood. This is great. Uh, Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're yeah. perpetrating. What about? Uh, vandalism is illegal. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, on an original. <laughs> we like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Grady culture. We don't. 
Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? <laughs> what? No. Where? <laughs> Mangy look. I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that. I know. Oh, what are you How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brody Shut Carson. up. He's stupid. He's genius Most behind the Ivo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Triple. I'd rather try a fried egg. That does sound nice. Ivo sounds like an electronic archery toy. It does. Ivo is the truly visionary Ocular Fitness so Program. People try the so. video today. Alright. Sounds fascinating. You can. Yeah. yeah. Um, why are you painting? Do you live to paint or do you paint to live? That is the I question. I don't know why you do it. Just, I just you just have, have to paint. So basically, it's a mind control thing, isn't it? Okay. Well, we'll leave you to it. Yeah. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Of course you do. Because that's just hammering the fact that everyone's been not everyone, but people are being brainwashed by him. So now we have to go and get brainwashed. That's my guess, at least. So we've got a VC8R oh, in here, we've got, which I'm sure some people don't even know about, but whatever, I've got tape, put that in there. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, Max. stop! We don't have any popcorn. Oh no, sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close, quick, before it starts. <laughs> So it's just gonna stop playing. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse. Nope. The massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <sighs> He's gonna watch what it, isn't you're he? about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. So watch closely. <gasps> I'm watching now. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> yeah, brainwashing. To name all your children after me. Not really. I love you. I adore you. Yep, great I motion. want to name all my children Here after it. you. Shut up. Sam, look. Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Tutti. Yes, it did. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes yep. every consumer. That's what I figured. Videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Go Maybe for it. Keep it on a leash. <laughs> Okay, so where am I going to find said person? Um, right. So he wasn't technically wrong about it being a conspiracy. Why does it keep going over to the fish tank? <gasps> Was it the fish tank all along, or the fish in the tank all along? <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Oh, can I go this way? What's over this way? Destin. Mm, you know you need it. Need what? What's in here? Who's in here? What's going on? Where am I? Therapy. Civil's therapy. Okay. Wait, what? There's another one of them. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not Do from a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! It is! Me? Right, you're, um... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! Right... How about a little analysis? Certainly! Tell me what's bothering you. You. Um... It's not me, it's mine. But, let's go with Every this. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal, but you might want to try Brady Culture's of Ibo course. video. It's very soothing compared to regular Is it? television. Ibo? Yes, my runny poached egg-like eyes could use a workout. It could. You won't regret it. Hmm. You got a copy? Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco. Of course. Enough said. Enough said. Are you, Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! Of course. That's me! He's trying to pull a Sybil pass sounds like a woman. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer! Violence is always Just the answer. Went. Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. <laughs> and that's just you. 
Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Oh, of course. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Why? Well, do you have any ID? Could That's we see good your one. driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. <laughs> My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? <laughs> I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Yeah, but it would. Oddly, I don't think it would. It sure looked like peepers. There's a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Sybil Bandemic, of course you licensed are. psychotherapist. Right. All right, let's go. Excuse then. me for a minute, would you? Sure. So who's in here? Thank God. I've and there's Sybil. So long, I was Stupid bikes. Life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic, what licensed for... psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I like that. But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic <laughs> child. I thought psychotherapists didn't use words yeah. like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist handbook or the lunatic? <laughs> There's a difference? Apparently. What's the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Yeah, those are good charges. Those are very good charges. Some of my favorites. And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transferring oh, or latent really? unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Really? Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although, actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. He has. How can you tell? How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. He does. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Clearly. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. <laughs> Uh, he sounds like something that, well, not something, he sounds like someone I would, wait a second, does she also do give out tattoos? I've just noticed that in the background. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy little <laughs> tomato, hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. That is what she said, what can we do? Are there steps we can take? Soothing music, or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! <laughs> Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Really? Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. Not You've many got people. To knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Okay. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! <laughs> I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Sounds good. Hmm. Let's try a bowling ball on his head. I can see! Whoa, where'd he go? Ooh, hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, <laughs> I guess. Okay, how am I supposed to knock him out then? Hmm. Right. Um, fan. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Did he? Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. I. <laughs> I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. True. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. Is it? How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? <laughs> Do you? Okay, so how Hey, peepers. Dibble! Right. Of course. Uh... You sure are fast? You did. Um, sure, I'll fast. You sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Cool. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. <laughs> under arrest? You're under arrest for kidnapping and impersonating a psychotherapist. Ridiculous. I'd never do that. After all, I'm a psychotherapist myself. Oh, yeah. You're definitely a psycho something. <laughs> Seriously, under arrest? Seriously, I'm going to have to place you under arrest. How long have you felt these <laughs> It started when we found the lady in your closet. Ah, 
not that. No, no, she's my patient. It's an experimental new He's therapy that. I'm trying. Really? What? He's the nut, not me. Yeah, Sam, we're not sure. confused. You're not the only one, little buddy. This woman claims this young woman claims that she's Sybil Penn, the <coughs> licensed psychotherapist. Which I am. Yes, when we believe yes, you. Yes, it's an interesting delusion. She thinks she's me. Mm. I am you. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Jumping whack job in the throes of a complete identity <laughs> fracture. One of you's having a schism. Personally, I'd pick you. No, pick me. Pick <laughs> me. Uh, you can't just look her up. Look, even if you are civil pandemic, I'm pretty sure locking the lady in the closet is illegal. Yep. It's called isolation therapy. That sensory deprivation channels the patient towards introspection and helps her confront her own identity. Does it? Should it bother me that that makes sense? Uh, Definitely, little bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I need to be Excuse me for a minute, would you? I'm really sure. liking and not liking. Um. Word I'm looking for. I'm really. There's a word stuck in my brain. Why is it stuck in my brain? Um. What's the word when you you know you f feel for someone or you can you can think similarly to them or relate? That's it. I relate a lot to Max. That's the word I was looking for. Ah, taxidermy. The dead aren't truly the kitsch of the living. Is it? And vice versa. True. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. <laughs> I do like Max. Black sign. Let's see. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. I what about like the it. one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand correct. <laughs> I like it. I think positive sign. Nice sign. Hmm. Is there anything else in the closet? No. Can I do, do anything over here? No. Okay, let's try. Don't know what else I'm supposed to do in here. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Mm. Ooh, Whee! the tiki. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. <laughs> Envious? A little. Okay. Newton's balls? Can I play with that? No. He drives people crazy. Who? Me! <laughs> okay, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to do this. Ah, the tiki. Hold over yes, from the yeah. days when Shut you could up, sell you all kinds bugs. of cheap crap without a success. Envious? Yes, he's envious. Okay. What about talking to Max? Um, this guy's this guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes, then. Thanks. You're a big help. Hmm. Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah. The court will never make that mistake again. <laughs> Be careful in here. Be careful not to break anyone while we're here. No promises. <laughs> I wish I, had my banjo. I wish I had my banjo right now. Why? And I wish I had a five gallon tub of orange marshmallow peanuts. That could be dangerous. Yours too. <laughs> I really like right Max. Now. He's Great easily idea. my favorite character in this already. I... No. Let's look around. Great idea. Um. That's your I think those might be iron art. Yeah. Can be. Yeah. All right. So I'm not... Skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Ah, uh, bit both. Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. <laughs> okay, couch. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, no, Max. No, he's got a point. Okay, what about the clock? It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? <laughs> That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. I... I? Why am I saying I? I've never s said I in my life. Well, I have. Must have at some point, but... really don't understand what to do here. I've got three people that need... to be, uh... Lefties? Yeah, let's go lefties. Three people that need to be arrested. And no way of arresting. Or doing anything. Spray paint. 
Let's go get this spray paint. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Ooh, could come in handy. All right, let's go to the lefties. It closed. Looks closed. This place used to be Lefty's tool room. Used to be. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. <laughs> exactly. Good time. That's why you miss him. Oh dear. Can I go down there? No. Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's go back over here then. Um. All right. So, uh, what else can I do? Um, there's a dumpster there. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's talk to Specs again. Hey, Specs. There's something I can do. Um... Remember when you were famous? Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. Was he? I'm still famous. Are you? Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. <laughs> uh, what have you been up to? So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life. Oh, and his you? name is Grady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. Really? He really Did should not have one this. of his videos. Yeah, enough about Sounds that. Sounds fascinating. You can never get enough. You want to bet? Um, yeah. I don't know what to do. You're under arrest? By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. Um... You don't, I don't think pe these Seriously, people get under help. arrest. Get come along arrest. quietly and no one gets hurt. Getting under arrest. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Okay. Excuse us. We've got important things. Don't we all? Hmm. I don't want to get into a paint fight with my good suit. Okay. Can I go any further this way? Hmm. Oh, I know over here. Right. What's in this van? Hmm. 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 It takes me back to my childhood. Does it? All right. Anything I can think of? What's the? Why is this bent? Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. <laughs> Right, I think if I go over to this bit and use that on that, maybe something will happen. This could use a little improvement. It. What have I done to it? <laughs> well, hey, hey, you messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, Rain Freeze. <laughs> Then come over here and do something. Um, can I do this? This could use a little improvement. Could, couldn't it? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't mess with my painting. Now I've got to fix another it all Another one. By lefties, wasn't there? Yes. Uh, spray paint. Graffiti. Now wait for him to wander all the way over there. And graffiti it. I'm assuming this is going to do something that will help. Hopefully. This could use a little improvement. Yes, yes, yes. How does he instantly know that I've messed with him? Excuse me, I thought I said not to mess with my painting. You might have said that. It doesn't mean I have to. 
pace, Max. Hmm. Right. Excuse us. We've got him. Don't we are? Okay. I have no idea what to do now. You know, you need it. Try go this way. No. Mailbox? Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, <laughs> memories. Okay, so he's fixing that. So. Now what? How do I do this? Hmm. Uh, oh, it's just you. Yep. So, okay. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Hot weenies. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Oh dear. Um. Okay. Nacho machine. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. <laughs> microwave. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. Ooh, this week's flavors: wheatgrass and meatloaf. Um. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. You have green men. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Ketchup, mustard, and, and purple stuff. Purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Oh dear. Um, Caesar. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. Why not? It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Fair enough. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. I got quite a few tongues that week. Have you now? Uh, you might be a single. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I, I don't. Not. Okay. Terror sample. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots, lots of, of terror. terror. Green, a probable terror. Whee! Okay. And I did not need to read that. Um, so there's cameras. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at the guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Uh, yes, you are. Okay. So I've got a gun, a bone ball, and a spray paint. Can I? Hmm. Hey, wizard, care for a can of spray paint? Nope. nope. Just gotta deliver these. Okay. What about bowling ball? Nah. Hey. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Any magazines? What do we have here? Logan Trader, self loading weekly. Oh, let me see that. <laughs> That's well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Yeah, very dangerously low. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Hmm. Okay, talk to Bosco. Hey, Bosco, what do you need? <gasps> I've had an idea. Thanks, boss. Sleep with. Right. Max, you go in the bathroom. Ooh, fun. Sweet. Lots of terror. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Wait for him to need to go to the toilet. He goes uh -oh. in. Put the cheese in his crate. Time out for number one. one. Yes, 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 yes. Quickly. And cheese. Quickly. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. 
Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. <laughs> What's he do? What the? <laughs> yeah. I'm out for number one. <laughs> We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining. That's one than not happening to me. Them? It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> he did. Wait, who's watching this? Classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. You do. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> Uh, no, it's hey, mwah, ha, 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 ha. that's how you do an equal laugh. Okay, so that's one guy dealt with. Now to go deal with the others. Buy one, get one. Ooh, I like that special. Okay then. So now, can I do anything? It looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at these bad and worse things. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Okay. What's this one say then? It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What do I do for this guy then? Got a big gun, bomb and spray paint. What if I give him the spray paint? What does that do? Caffeine rush. Sweet carbonated beverages and a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Mm. Wow. You made me mess up. I do apologize. Um so what do I do for this guy then? Hmm, hang on a second. I'll be back. Right. S sorry about that, I am back. Um, I've now, I say figured out, I've looked up how to do this, because I wasn't entirely sure. But it all makes sense I now that I'm actually looking at it. You spray on here. I knew I had to use the bowling ball to knock someone out. He comes out what? here, the yes. With you crazy go, you go for it, mate. So now we're going to go into our office. We're gonna drop a bowling ball on his head and knock him out. <laughs> Who knew? Right. Well, the internet knew. Open a window. Yeah. Drop it on his. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. That is pretty awesome. You made me mad. <laughs> Hell yeah, we did. <laughs> now this is quality television. Yes, it is. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Sam and Max. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> You're getting it's better. better. It's better. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one I more second. I would love to know how okay, he's watching go. all of this. Why is his head on fire? Why is that the loading screen? Kind of weird, but kind of cool. Yeah. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. No. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. I like this. I'll be planning on it, little buddy. So, is that literally what we have to do? So beat take the wheel beat to shoot to shoot Attention fellow drivers if for any reason we need to address you we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle <laughs> thank you Okay Wait what was 
supposed to be doing here? Hang on a second. Except my condolences for your tail. <laughs> and then megaphone. Pull over. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. <laughs> that was a bit overkill. Hello, we're freelance police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Yes. Oh, why did you stop me? Good of you. Uh. Hideously broken. Your tail lights busted. But you're the ones who broke it. It doesn't matter. Your point being. Hmm, what's the fine for a broken tail light? Why, isn't it $10,000? It is. What? Are you crazy? Uh, uh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Mm -hmm. Alright, my attorney advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some account. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Ducker. That was rather easy. Yeah, sorry, I had to look that up because there was no way I was going to even actually work that one out. So, yeah. So, we we'll do that. We now have the money to do something. I remember them saying something about needing $10,000. So, let's go. I didn't see how, although I have looked up a couple of things, I'm not fully looking up what, I'm just reading the next thing I have to do, so I think I have to talk to him and do something. Hey, uh, Sybil. Um, psychoanalyze me? Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering No, I don't think it's that. It's not me, it's Max. It's not me, it's Max. Hey! He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit! <laughs> see? Yes, well, I would recommend Brady... Good eye health helps of course. I'm a rabbit! Sounds like a piece of... Oh, it is! Enough said. Enough said. Uh, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. I couldn't possibly leave my... I heard that. Um... What did I have to do for the ten... Sure! Thousand dollars. What is it? Something I was talking Hey, Sybil. Hello! Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this... What are we supposed to do again? My head is leaking like a cheese club. Well, you told us to do Just knock this guy unconscious. Okay. Excuse her. I'll say. What was I supposed to do with $10,000? Hang on. Ugh, I'm supposed to buy the tear gas. Stupid me. Really continue reading stuff if I'm gonna cheat by using walkthroughs, but to be honest, there's no other way that I'll probably complete games like this without walkthroughs. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get moving. And I'm in Oscar's convenience store. Your family may be in danger, national terror is lowered, something like that. Hello! Hi. Why couldn't you just talk to us? Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... Yes. How about a reward? You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? Hell yeah. free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinth and scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it? Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. Quite possibly. Um, yeah, we, we want to buy, we the buy something. Yes. What do you got to 
tear gas. We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. Um, this is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated defense system? No. Nope. What's it do? <laughs> the 10000 just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. Of course. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, come and do something. I don't want to wake him up. Yeah, we're well, just gonna leave him there. I'm assuming that's what I'm supposed to do anyway. So, so I've got the tear gas. So now let's go back to Sibbles. Da -da 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 -da, just walking down the street, walking down the street. I love walking down the street and glitching out again into Sibbles. Put down the controller there and wait for Max, uh, Sam to walk over there. Open 24 hours. Hmm. It's impressive considering it's a woman by herself running a place like that. But whatever. So, where were we? Uh, yes. We shall use tear and shoot peepers. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! I lied. <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> so, now what? <laughs> um, so, now what? <laughs> Okay, so just talk to him. Hey, peepers. Sybil! Right. Did that not Excuse work? Excuse me for a minute. Sure! Okay, do I have to do it while he's still... Oh, Sybil! Yeah. There's peepers. And... Talk to him? Hey, uh, Sybil. No? Excuse me. Sure. I swear that's what the. What boxing glove? I'm, apparently I'm supposed to have a boxing glove to knock him out. Where the hell do I get the boxing glove? Hey, peepers. Dibble. What the Excuse hell? Excuse me. Sure! Apparently I'm supposed to have... 
Okay, let's just try shooting him again. Oh, shit. And then... Shoot him again. He's already crying. I can see you. No, you can't. What the fuck? Please, stop doing Apparently that. Apparently, I'm supposed to have a boxing glove. Alright, I'm going back to Busco's because there's something missing here. According to the guide, I'm supposed to have a boxing glove. I don't have a boxing glove. The only place I remember seeing a boxing glove was at what's his face's uh, at freaking Bosco's. Okay then. This is one of the reasons why I don't tend to play these kinds of games. Hello. Yes, hello, Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just going to Yes, I have. Don't want to buy something. Mm -hmm. What do you got? Do you have any? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Uh, do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have anything? Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? <laughs> nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> we are. Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. <laughs> Do you have any weasel? Nope. Nothing for us right now. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Don't take... Where the f*** am I supposed to get a boxing cup from? I don't want to wake him up. Mm. No sense kicking a man when he's down. Yeah. Okay then. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! A brilliant deal. Sale table. A cheese sign on an empty table. The tantalizing promise of cheese crushed by cruel <laughs> reality. Okay, ho hold on a second. I'm gonna see if I can find a bag. Apparently, the box and glove is on the windowsill of Sewing Max's office. But of course, I don't have an eidetic. Is it eidetic or eidetic? Eidetic memory. Or a memory that's so good that I remember every little detail of this game. So apparently, there's a box and glove up in Sewing Max's office. So that's where I'm going to go, get that, and now I'm going to go knock out the final dude. How did I not know to get the box and glove? This might come in handy. <laughs> don't do that again. Yeah, please don't. We YouTube cannot handle any more jokes like that. There's enough of them on the internet. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about the longish nature of these episodes, but they, that's just how it's going to be. Because I can't be bothered to do more than one. Uh, so I go see Sybil. Um, liver and onions. Live at the something big, bigger low ice rink something or other facility. Was it the and meet something? Okay, so we shall go and shoot you in the face again for about the oh, fourth fifth time now. No! <laughs> it doesn't get less funny and. Now we use a boxing glove. And Please, Sam, allow me. Go. Keepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. 
It'll definitely hurt definitely. you. Definitely. Sweet dreams, peeps. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That You're was great. You're not supposed great. to. Wait yes. a second. My evil plan is in ruins. Yep. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Will we? Rue the day, I say. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic really? state. How are you going to do Take that? Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Good Minor point. detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Good. Oh, Sorted. Yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. Did you? And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Uh -huh. This is where I you... knew it. Your plan seemed hypnotized down. you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? Remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, of course. He has his own nut house. Wow, we gotta meet this guy. We do. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. No. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can't fix. <laughs> oh, dear. It's not that bad. <laughs> Alright, so now I need to go wake up the others. Now I know how to wake them up. So, on to the next one. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. What to go away up specs? <clears throat> uh, no, no. Take not control specs of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. <laughs> what, what's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? You've been lying on the floor. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing yes, anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the drive. Does he? Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Why? Well, that was helpful. Hmm. Keep on moving. Just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking, walking. How many times have I walked back and forth on this street? Lord knows. Right. Yes, hello, Bosco. Hello. You weirdly human person in this strange world. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Yes. Nicely done, shit. Sam. You're a natural. Oh, where am I? We are friends. Who are you? Not food. Don't worry. We're freelance police. Police? Oh no! Uh-oh. He's getting away in that truck! He is. Quick, follow that soda popper. And now I need to shoot his tires. I'm guessing. Or do I just have to follow him? Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! Time out for number one! Oh! Am I supposed to be dodging stuff here? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna keep dodging stuff. Take the wheel, buddy. With pleasure. Did I hit him? Yes. Sweet. Now talk. Don't shoot. Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? <laughs> Except for the obvious sport value, of, of course. course. It's just 
You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Yeah. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there. Across convenient. the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, wait, what? Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? There's an alleyway there. But what the fuck were we do? Why did we... Okay, I'm guessing we were supposed to, like, go into our car or something there. But that was a very weird exchange. Right. So that's... Okay, can we go in through this door? No. This one's very locked. And so is that one. Alright, let's talk to the monkey. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. <laughs> okay. Form. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. We need an admission form. Where are we going to get that? Admission form. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality <gasps> disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see. Obsession with money, mm -hmm. violent reactions to dentistry, okay. and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. For so? You don't even know what that means, do you? Nope. No, but it sounds all classically literate. <laughs> okay. So... Is that what I do? Hmm. It didn't like it. I bet we have to get that officially filled out by a licensed psychiatric professional. So... Trust me, I have experience with these things. Do you? So we go back in our car, we go back to Sybil, she fills it Where out. Where are we going, Sam? Let's head back to the back office. Back to the office. Sort of. We actually need to go to Sybil. Alley of Perpetual Darkness, oh dear. So, into Sybil's again. So much back and forth in this game. But whatever. La -da 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 -da. There's one, I should probably check it's still recording. Still going strong. Right. I need to talk to her. Um Time for some, some. You think if I can show all the symptoms of this artificial personality disorder, we can get into Culture's home for child stars? I'd recommend consulting an expert. Oh, me, for example. Yeah, or her too. Let's look around. I was Great idea. meant to talk to her. I thought. I was Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm. Interesting. Symptoms include. Uh, let's see. Obsession with money. Violent reactions to dentistry and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Will this be painful? <laughs> Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. Um... Okay, that's what's free association that. like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Sure. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm. Interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Okay. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Hmm. Uh... Wait. Promenade. Interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Crown. Hmm. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Sample size. I see. Comb. What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crack of weak tea to me, Sam. Mm. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. He's not imaginary. Hey, I'm not imaginary. If you say so. Well, this has <sighs> been illuminating. What's the verdict? Okay. I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. 
anything to support small local businesses. <laughs> we can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. True. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Hmm. Okay. Strength. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Hmm. Paintings on the eyes of a dead mime? Per. For the last time, my right, extra. Let's go with that. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? Hmm. Bunch of fun. Terry playing basketball, pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theatre. An SUV. Yes. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. Go with that one. And this? Let's keep going for the money related ones. School that got run over twice, my uncle Louis Smothy and more. Codded love notes from Space Aliens. Oh, coded, sorry, not codded. Autograph written in Moth Eaton Wallet. My uncle Louis Moth Eaton Wallet. Now, this one, what do you see? I see elephants at the New York Stock Exchange chewing code of lanky albino, the exhaust manifold of a drug truck, 20 nuns with machine guns. We'll go with that one. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? That got three thirteen in your front. Small dusty eyes and a long tank escaping from the truck of a DeSoto. War between two teams of abstract shapes. Debit card fed through a document shredder. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Of course. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with that's mm -hmm. a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. I'm guessing it was money. Because it kind of skipped. Very interesting. We Whatever you say, sir. I'm not a sawbones. <laughs> I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting <laughs> hungry. Uh, that's a reference to Charles Dickens, I think it is. Okay, let's go. With that. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Okay. Remember, I'll say words, and you ready? Sure, go ahead. How? Hmm. Calorie consciousness. Mm -hmm. What an unusual response. How about this word? Drill. No. Hmm. Really? Did my shooting mean absolutely nothing to you? Okay, let's try shooting you. Whoa, don't shoot! Violent reaction! <laughs> violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. You should. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Hmm. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Dryer. Right. Meh. Aquamarine. Mm-hmm. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrist. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. Cool. I'd better mark this on your chart. Yes, you better. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want oh. to alarm you, but... Probably. <laughs> Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Okay, so what about dream analysis? Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yow. Now just relax okay. and try to remember your dream. Which one? Okay, here goes. 
stupid bloody bite. Oh, starting the office. This time, things were this time different. Things were different. Mm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Okay. Go with that. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was... Max. It was Max. Ah, yes. Your imaginary friend. Mm -hmm. Excuse me! I'm standing right next to you, lady! In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, Duda, Duda. But that's not unusual. Okay. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh. You. <laughs> it was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. Do you? You do. Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's gotta be in there somewhere. That's Psychotherapy 101. Insightful! Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup! I went through three weeks of labor for you! Wow, it is your mother. I was right! As I usually am. Okay. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Okay. Tell me, what was in the hole? Um... Clacking ball. It was that staple office knick-knack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. <laughs> well... Okay. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. What about time? Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. This no, that can't be right. Hmm. What about the dartboard? I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? Hmm. A tattoo. It was a garish tattoo. Wow! Wow. That is so deep. In other words, you don't know what it means. <laughs> no. I show up at the window. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No. No, wait. I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. Vegetation. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. Okay. What was on it? Hmm. The plant was bare, but for a single decaying leaf. How sad. Well, good thing it's just a dream. Okay. What the office door? I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Nope. No way. Oh. Okay. Coat rack? Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Mm. Oh my. Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait. I forgot I am one. <laughs> oh dear. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler. A source of refreshment. Also, what was in it? We'll go with a gun. It was a massive, death-dealing revolver. Do you subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? <laughs> oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. <laughs> uh, I like it. Uh, okay. Bumble? Nothing unusual there. What was it? I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away. Things we're ashamed of. Mm. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Camera, fits, computer. I'll go with the camera. A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. Nope, I'm proud. Yeah, you're proud, not me. I 
noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? Mmm, something like that. I realized... Oh? That, what can I do with Bosco? It was Bosco, from the inconvenience store. Ah, yes. You go to him when you need this. Yes, he represents your father. Bosco's my daddy? Uh, symbolically, yes. yes. Okay. Literally, I sure hope not. In your Don't dream, we'll... was Bosco doing anything peculiar? He did say something rather unexpected. Did he? I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. <laughs> yes, that's just what I expected. Hmm. I really. Okay. Me. It was me. You? Hmm. I think you represent yourself. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? Yeah, no, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? <laughs> Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? Very good questions. Hmm. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Was that the end of your dream? Yes. Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Thanks. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to see their peers age. Okay. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. Okay. All right. So how am I going okay, to tell me what happened. I realized. Oh. Who else? Max. It was Max. Ah. Uh, I realized that. Oh. Yeah, keep your max uh, there. I notice. Uh, I'm not sure how this is supposed to go. Nothing. Actually. Well, nothing bothers you. To know you should be bothered. Um. Uh, what's it? I noticed something bizarre. In it. Ah. A whole stack of lottery tickets. Interesting. Perhaps you feel you don't really earn your money. <laughs> don't worry, lady. We get paid to crack skulls. And by that measure, we ought to be millionaires. <laughs> okay, okay. So... Donut box. Didn't see that before. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Okay. Oh, sounds like you and your special guests there were having a little celebration. What did you get? Uh, birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. Yeah. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. <laughs> I'd better mark this on your chart. Yes, you better. There we go. Wow. It must be artificial personality disorder. Thank you. You've got all the signs. I Convenient. bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars then. Quickly. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Cool. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide. No. <laughs> That's what's going to happen if I let you drive, Max. So yes, on to the next one. Well, back to the what you call it. Into the car and back to the thingy. Where are we going, Sam? Where else? But back to Brady Culture's home for exactly. former child stars. I couldn't have said oh, it better okay. myself. And here we go. So now my mission form or symptoms form to now go in there. And you're going to let me in. Sweet. Yep. So 
Can we go? Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. There is. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. Makes everyone hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. <laughs> Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? <laughs> Uh, well, there's the big boss himself. He's gonna try and hit me now. Oh, this is Cultures Clubhouse. Jumping on Cheney in a bottle fright room. Brady Culture, I presume. Does look like you know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. <laughs> Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Okay, really. Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some Yeah. Food. Instead of Allow having us run around. Explain. <laughs> uh oh, I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Oh, uh, yeah. You think I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter? <laughs> I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved. Oh, is that all? So, and to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. Did but you? Now, those worthless hacks, the Theta Puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. <laughs> they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor down on his luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his Sorry, worshipful uh, fans forever. Adjusting stuff. How cruel. Yes. Is it over? How cruel of us. No, it's not over. Oops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their place. Yep, I had a feeling this was in coming. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Uh-oh. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Become it's gonna work on him, not gonna work on Max. Man. Great. I kind of guess this was coming. Like, from the beginning. What? What's happening? Oh no! Oh! No! What, what are you doing? I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. You did. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? Of course. No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Nope. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Who the fuck is Mickey Rooney? deliver Mickey Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hmm. This isn't good. I must deliver videos. Hmm. Hey, my beloved weapons are gone. I must deliver videos. Hmm. So what do I do here? I should come back in. Alright. Too far. I must deliver videos. Okay. I must deliver. No. You don't knock yourself out. I must know. I must. Oh, don't even try it! There we go. And now I, I need Max. Max, come help me. Max. Uh oh. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. <laughs> you, you might be dreaming. Me. You adore me. Not really. Become video delivery man. No. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. Yep. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. He's you annoying. Gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. Hmm. <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. Okay. Can I shoot? 
him. Okay. Let's try shooting Max's head down. I don't want to pop him. Okay. Um. Culture, culture, culture. One way side. Turn it upside down. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. <laughs> and. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. <laughs> Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great. But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Mm. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. I need to put something down here. Don't I? Or do something down here. Um. I will be number one in the ratings. Now, hmm. and thanks to Cable, for all Smoke. eternity. That's not good. It's just a dream, Sam. Bicycle pump? What is this thing? Oh dear Christ, I'm making the mouse bigger. Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. That is. Ah! <gasps> open the door! I will be and now we do the bicycle pump. Him. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. <laughs> and now he eats all the cheese. Including him. No, the cheese must stand alone. Nom, 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 nom. So that's destroyed. Him. Another one bites the cheese. Okay, so let's try shooting the TV. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> Shooting TV stars only makes them strong. Do they, do they now? Okay, what about... I'm sure it's for fish. Brady Culture okay, let's see what to do nice about these to it, things over it? here. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Okay. What about the coat rack? Weird. Coat hair? Ooh. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. Hmm. No! I must be on TV for all eternity. Not gonna happen. No. Oh yes, that's much better reception. Okay. Um one more side, let's try that again. Gotta be something. So yeah, do that. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> But then I can't do anything. Yay! Hmm. I'm right back where I started. Yes, you are. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Hmm. Okay, if I go here, what can I use this on? You want to? Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. Mmm. Smoke. I have no idea. That doesn't even work in a dream. Okay, let's try shooting. Hmm. Damn. Okay, let's open dance. this closet, see if there's anything left. So there's nothing left. Just these hands. Strange. Enigmatic. Queer. Odd. Hmm. Okay, I have no idea what to do. This is starting to freak me out, so hang on. I love my hair, and you do too. I will have legions of sickening breakfast cereals named after me. I am Brady Culture and you are not. Get used to it. Turn off lights. I didn't even know that was a thing. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, no! 
Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Okay, so I, I was actually right about one of them. That I was thinking of doing, which is this. Let's try shooting the sign. Brady. No, I said try shooting the sign. Brady. Shoot the sign. And wait. Whee! Whoa! Gotcha! <laughs> Yay! And oof. <laughs> now you're down on the ground. So now we use Max's head on culture. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. It's the original really? owner of that for body. Me? No. <laughs> oh my. Hebel? I'm not surprised with an afro like that. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Bye. So am I. Back in real life. Oh. Uh. Oh no. He's awake. We're done for. Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all <laughs> right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Of okay. course. But what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator. Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind. <laughs> that pursuit egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Did he? Can you help me? I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis inducing energy beams. A hypnosis blocker? I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. No. I've got to find something quick. Hmm. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture? Eyeball man? Stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, know? Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. Okay. Well, bye, Thanks, Bosco. Bosco. Thanks for all your inconveniences. Why? Right, I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to have to split this up now because this has been going on for far longer than I was expecting. I was expecting it last pretty. Well, not pretty quickly, but I thought it was going to last a lot less than this. So, um. Thank you everyone for watching, feel free to subscribe, I'll see you on the games I play, thank you, and good luck.